Uh, hey, today I have a very cool lock for you guys. It's a Dom EX. It's a 10 pin lock. And this one was in my naughty bucket for a long, long time. And I will try to explain why. Why? Uh, it's a 10 pin lock, uh, two rows. So five left side, five right side, or vice versa, doesn't matter. Uh, and the problem with this one was that I have a, there is a very long key, big key pins here and there. So two very long ones and short ones and because of that fantastic bidding I was unable to pick until now because I was always trying to use a dimple pick and uh, usually straight flag um, and because of that pins I was over, always uh, oversetting these two pins and I never picked it uh, till now and uh, recently I was going through my locks and I figured and I, I find this one and I remember that I think it was um, Captain Hook number one or someone else uh, I cannot remember that said that this lock can be picked uh, easily with uh, pin tumbler picks uh, so uh, then I grab my couple of picks but this was this was the best one uh, it's a V31 multi pick uh, 0.4 millimeter and this one works fantastic for me I, I was able to pick this one in a couple of minutes so I will try to rip a rep this and pick this lock I'm probably going to uh, block a bit on the view but I'll try to do it like this uh, and yeah because I'm doing counterclockwise um, so because of that first uh, pins from the right side are, are binding first yeah so let's start one it's binding click from one to uh, my tension tool slips and I have a bit trouble trying to yeah come on it's a bit tricky to do it like this but yeah let's start one click two nothing three nothing four nothing five nothing let's go again one click small click two nothing three nothing four nothing five nothing so let's go back again one two three nothing four nothing five Five nothing again one nothing two nothing three nothing four nothing five did I overset pin number two now let's do it again My tension tools want, tension tool want to slip, but that's so one click to nothing, three click, four nothing, five nothing. Again, one click again, two nothing, three nothing, four nothing, five. It's binding. One pin number five, click from five. So let's start again. One nothing, two nothing, three nothing. Now four is binding. Yeah, click from four and small turn on the core. That means that uh, I picked probably all or at least three or four pins from the right side. 
so let's go from the left side now one it's binding click from one two nothing three small click four nothing five it's i think it's binding click from five and small turn on the core so let's go the right side and did I lose? No, it's open. Yes! Finally! It's open. Awesome! After a long, long time, finally Tom picked. So let's... Let's disassemble it now. Fantastic! It's a very great feeling when you pick a lock that is in your nutty bucket for a long time. And yeah, key, <laughs> here's the key. What do we have here? It's a C clip. Okay. I don't know, because we have a key, I will lock it. I don't know who, who triggered me to or who first um, did picking? Uh, who, who picked this log with a with a pin tumbler pick, not with a dimple? Uh, it's it's a really really good idea, and I think I can disassemble it like this. Let's just in case use a shim. I want to use a shim just to be. I think it's not needed, but yes, pins are going to be on top side and the pole bearing. Yes, awesome. And the ball bearing, I think it's going to be on the on the bottom side. Yes, or it's a pin. Yeah, it it was a pin. So let me my tweezers. Let me put this here and this plastic cover. Here and now I can remove the key and before I disassemble it completely I want to show you why I was unable to pick with a dimple pick so dimple pick let's move a bit so let's zoom it come on so when I was trying to go, doesn't matter from which side, always, it just to try to move the pick, this this pin is automatically overset, and from the another, for, for the other side, that, that pin, it's, it's automatically overset, so that's why I was unable to pick in this lock, and the beating is so, so good that, yeah. finally disassembled this one um, and um, let me show you first the core here's how it looks like so mm -hmm. 
it's um, the pins are so I need to show you one of the pins so the pins are a bit so I pick it like this no it was like this no yeah doesn't matter like here is how the pins look like and that's how they are going in and I pick it like no wait 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 not like that no this is a pin from this side <laughs> oh man come on the pins are all different it's it's like this here's how they look like and here's how they are inside so it's it's I'm picking it like this so like this from this side come on focus from this side so I'm pushing the not going from the top because it's slipping I'm going for the bottom part so uh, I'm picking it like this come on uh, I'm picking it from here like this pushing down uh, so yeah and the body it's a standard one but with 10 two rows 10 pins it's a fantastic design to be honest and the pins are completely different than any other pins so as you can see here key pins are standard and here one of the keeping uh, two of the keepings are with um, like torpedo like so for overset trap yeah and the keeping from the top is with a drill protection and plus as a tipping so I think I touched that one the last the second one and or this one doesn't matter I, I cannot remember left or right, right side so this is a tipping and the last one I think it's a no no it's not a tipping it's a standard one so uh, yeah uh, 10 10 pin lock awesome dome ex um, picked and got it after a long time long time and naughty bucket so guys Really, thanks for watching, have a nice day, have a nice speaking, and bye-bye.